These YouTubers literally got stuck and had to remain brave through some pretty serious situations. The only thing greater than their immediate fear is perhaps the overwhelming regret of the predicament in the first place. Number 12. A YouTuber named Jason L is rock climbing with his friend Kevin when they come across a narrow and claustrophobic crevice. Not wanting to get left behind, Jason follows Kevin's lead, but his resolve weakens considerably about midway through. I'm kinda wishing we didn't come in here, Kevin. Why? I'm pretty terrified. Barely 10 seconds later, Jason takes the worst step of his life. Oh no. Here, give me the camera. My foot's stuck. My foot's stuck. <laughs> I'm so serious, I can't move. After some initial panic, he steps out of his shoe and manages to dislodge it. After some effort with both hands, look again and you can see what would have happened if Jason L had tripped and fallen forward. Instead of stepping out of his shoe, it's a sharp drop down a series of spiky rocks that could have easily resulted in shattered bones and an emergency airlift. Number 11. A YouTuber named CTV911 is on his way to see the new Star Wars movie when the crowded mall elevator abruptly stops, leaving him stuck with other worried passengers. I can't exactly tell for sure, but I think one of them might be trying to force the doors open here, maybe to get more air into the elevator. Watch this part and let me know what you think they are trying to tell him not to do. Hey, anybody up there? It's getting unbearably hot in here. Have tried the phone again to let them know someone's going down? I could only imagine what would have happened if he had managed to actually get the doors open. After about nine minutes, one of the passengers breaks down and has a full-blown panic attack. You don't have a medicine at all? There they are. It isn't until 40 minutes later that help finally arrives. Firefighters can't get the doors open, so they have to bust in through the top of the elevator. Their welcome entrance nonetheless sends shrapnel down on the waiting crowd. Watch your eyes, guys. There's Watch screws eyes. everywhere, too. I'm still going up. Can I have it? Yeah, yeah, you can have it. We don't hey, want hey. it. Hey, 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 we're trying to help. They somehow squeeze a ladder into the elevator and send everyone up one by one. The YouTuber misses his movie but is glad he no longer has to spend another moment stuck in that cramped space. Number 10. These contractors find themselves stuck on a roof after their ladder collapses, leaving them stranded 14 feet in the air with no way down. Soon they improvise a safety harness that looks to be little more than some cords haphazardly knotted together. I really doubt this design would realistically hold his weight but let me know what you think. They are trying to figure out what to do next when they see something in the distance. Watch his feet closely and tell me if he looks like he almost loses his balance at the end. There's a car! Come on! Go, go. <laughs> hey, hey! He carefully lowers himself to the bottom and manages not to break the harness. The harness appears to be very loose at the end and could have come undone at any second. They show the drop at the end and it definitely looks like they were high up enough to cause some serious damage. Number nine. I'm gonna save a kid out of a trunk right now. He locked himself in. When a YouTuber named David Nugan hears noise coming from the trunk of a car, he discovers a young boy has accidentally locked themselves inside. It's a hot summer day and the kid needs to be rescued immediately. So David wastes no time breaking out a window and reaching inside. He scrambles to find a button that will pop the trunk. They are sure that the child is severely dehydrated and there is not a second to lose. Finally, the trunk unlocks and a scared child comes stumbling out. You can see his hair and shirt are drenched in sweat and he is certainly not faking any of this. Even though he appears to be alright for now, I still would have taken him for medical attention just to be safe. Let me know what you would have done next based on what you've seen. And thankfully, this man was nearby to save the day. Number 8. These friends are hanging out at the end of a cul-de-sac when one of them named Robert loses his skateboard down a deep sewer grate. Most skaters would probably call it quits then and there. 
But Robert forces his way through the grate and soon becomes just as stuck as his board. They all laugh and make jokes as they wait for rescue workers to arrive, but as you can see by this nervous nail biting, the situation is much more serious than anyone is letting on. Firefighters are unable to pry open a nearby manhole cover. Thinking fast, they send a line down for Robert to grab and eventually fish him out that way. After the whole ordeal is over, one of the men explains that Robert is lucky to still be alive. You know what's down there? Not really, probably it? a lot of diseases. Yeah, well not only that, but there could be like chemicals that could kill you like that. Oh. Oh, it's mm -hmm. a sewer. You know what I'm saying? This calm and professional explanation will hopefully make Robert think twice if this ever happens again. Number 7. A YouTuber named Shabrianez is excited to ride on a roller coaster with his daughter Jenna Disneyland. They find much more suspense than they bargain for when this unexpectedly happens to them at the top of the ride. About 40 minutes later, a mechanic strapped in a safety harness comes walking up a ramp with a worried look in his eye. Yeah. I'm making sure it's safe to drop. I think he sounds like he is trying to hold back a massive amount of concern for their safety here, but let me know if you agree. A short while later, another malfunction leaves Sha and Jen unable to contain worried expressions of their own. This time the roller coaster heads in the completely wrong direction before shutting off again. They are escorted out of the cart one by one, but they are still not exactly safe yet. Watch this part and let me know if you would be brave enough to walk down these steps with no safety railing on the right. They eventually make it down almost an hour and a half later, very much glad to be on solid ground once more. Number 6. A YouTuber named Blamsuka is nervously waiting for an intense water park ride to begin. He knows something is wrong as soon as his friend deploys and he is still stuck in the tube. Soon it becomes apparent that getting out is not going to be easy, especially considering the door is sealed shut by a control panel that seems not to be working properly. You okay in there? If the ride starts with Blamzuka in this position, he could easily land wrong and cause some damage. He is forced to remain in the tube with his hands over his shoulders, almost like a casket, with cold water running down his back the whole time. They eventually open the door and get him into the second tube. When this tube fails in the exact same way, they finally send him down the ride on a third tube. Judging from his scared reaction, I'm surprised he did not quit when the same thing happened a second time. Number 5. Carly Gum is a YouTuber who learned the hard way what happens when you stick your tongue to a pole in freezing weather. Eventually, she is able to rip her tongue away from the surface, leaving a red stain behind. I hope she is okay, but I wouldn't be surprised if her tongue needs medical attention by the end. Number 4. Adam Grayson is making a YouTube video at the hospital after a reaction causes his entire hand to swell. His wedding ring presses into flesh of his finger hard enough to cut off the circulation. Now a surgeon has to cut through the thin band of metal with only a trained eye and a tiny circular saw. One slip will make the situation ten times worse. The friction from the saw creates such an intense heat that nurses must repeatedly squirt water on the ring to cool it off. They really do have to delicately cleave through every last millimeter of the ring to get it off. Here you can just see how close they have to get to Adam's finger before they are able to pry it off. Adam's finger is red and tender when they are finally finished with the procedure. There is no doubt that in my mind that he would have eventually lost an index figure had he not gotten to the hospital in time. Number 3. A YouTuber named Victor Curry 30 is having a cake eating contest with oversized spoons. When one of them gets their utensil wedged deeply inside their mouth, they all find the situation somewhat amusing until they realize there is no easy way to pull it out of her mouth. Are you okay? Are you okay? 
What is especially troubling is how they have to shove the spoon even farther in so they can get the right angle for removal. It looks like she comes awfully close to not being able to breathe here. Number 2. One day a student named Ella got her entire hand stuck in a paper towel dispenser. I'm not sure how she did this and neither do her classmates. All I know is she seems majorly stuck and nobody can free her hand for the entire video. Pulling her arm doesn't help and seems to only make things worse. My question, besides how did this happen, is what can be done to get her out? I'm thinking an ambulance probably had to be called to dismantle the dispenser, or at least take it off the wall, but we'll never know for sure because the video is only a minute and 16 seconds long. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. My new music video Stranger was recently recently released. Could I get your honest opinion on whether it's good or bad? Tap the circle icon in the top right corner, then tap my music video to watch it. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it then thank you. This way you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Saturday. Number 1. This Russian fisherman has his hand trapped in the mouth of an aquatic beast and needs serious help. Listen to this part and translate if you can. Not even simultaneously shoving a plank of wood and a rod of steel into the creature's mouth is enough to free his arm, which is trapped up to the wrist in the creature's immense jaws. Finally, after two and a half minutes of struggling, he manages to use the plank like a car jack to ease the pressure off his hand. By this time, both of his friends appear to have mostly given up judging by their worried expressions. If you have any idea what kind of fish this is based on this video, then I'd really like to know. A scary, random encounter by definition can happen anytime, anywhere, instantly transforming an otherwise pleasant moment into the most terrifying instance of your life. 